Let's see, let's see who's going to jump on. Who's going to jump on? Who is going to jump on? I see there's a couple people in. So I'm going to wait another few seconds. Um, I'm doing something today different. Um, and I need your help. Uh, okay, so a friend of mine named Shannon Austin uh, has determined that I should be trying out Studio One. And so um, I need you guys' help today because I'm trying to find out what it sounds like. Um, I've been messing with it a little bit last night and today some. And I just have the instrumental version of a track that I'm working on right now. I'm not really working on it. It's something I've, I had a long time ago. And so I want to get you all's uh, thought processes on what this sounds like sonically, um, how it feels, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm delving into this whole thought process of transferring over, moving over from Studio, uh, moving over from Pro Tools to Studio One. And I know that's, you know, for some people that's a big thing. But uh, feel free to give me your thoughts, give me your ideas, um, and let me know what it sounds like. All right. And it's really, really weird, though, for some reason, when I go away from Studio One for a while, it won't play. And so I'm still trying to work out some of the bugs and learn some of the workflow. But again, this is a Studio One test. I'm not going to be on here very long today, uh, but just want to get you all, get you all's thoughts on kind of what it sounds like uh, and what it feels like. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Here we go.
Okay, so if you're just joining, if you're just joining, uh oh, I might be in trouble here. I might be in trouble here. If you're just joining, I am, um, I'm doing something different today. Uh, a friend of mine has kind of, I won't say challenged me, uh, but has got me thinking about moving over to Studio One. And what I'm trying to get is you all's feedback on what this sounds like. To me, in comparison, I've been working in Pro Tools for 14 years. Um, so I've been doing it for a, a, a pretty long time in Pro Tools. Um, and this track, I kind of just threw in last night and started working on. Um, I'm going to honestly say that this right here so far is far more open and has more space than Pro Tools. Um, and I got to where I am a lot quicker than I probably would have in Pro Tools. So I'm welcoming comments. Um, let me know your thoughts about what you're hearing. Let me know your thoughts about kind of like how it feels. Um, is the bass represented well? Is the kick represented well? I kind of feel like the kick is hitting pretty hard here. But I feel like I have a good amount of space that I never really had before. Um, I don't have the vocals in yet, so, you know, and I don't really have any kind of workflow yet. But um, just trying to to get to a point of saying, hey, I kind of like this. And I do like it. Um, it feels pretty good. The workflow is easier, both Studio One and Logic. Uh, Richard, I'm not a Logic guy. Um, J JR, you won't regret making a move, huh? That's interesting. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about where this is. Um, I have something coming up that I have to mix, I think, next week. And I think that's going to be my first, like, full single that I mix in this. I'm going to try and do it in Studio One to see how it feels. Um, but let me get back to this track uh, just so you guys can kind of feel what I'm doing.
Yeah, oh man, my camera's out of focus. Um, so that's what, um, um, wow, hold on one second. I got this camera thing that drives me crazy. Um, so, yeah, I uh, decided to try out um, Studio One. Um, it feels really good. Uh, I have not thrown any vocals in yet. Um, and I haven't done, I've done one little piece of automation in this track. Other than that, that's literally, literally just throwing up the faders and um, getting some EQ and got, got there pretty quickly. I, I messed with it a little bit last night just to kind of get going and see how it actually felt. Um, and there's still a few little quirks about it about Studio One that I just don't know and don't understand yet. Um, but again, uh, my friend Shannon Austin has been trying to get me to fool with this. And um, I like it. It feels really good. Um, I just recorded that pass with that instrumental and I'm going to take it and listen to it in a couple of other places. Um, feel free to leave whatever comments um, how does the bottom end feel? Is the bottom tight? Is the kick feel good? Is the bass feel good? Is there space? That's one thing I feel like I'm getting more of here than in Pro Tools. I, I find myself um, looking for space in Pro Tools, and this has, has more space than I've been experiencing in Pro Tools. So um, if you're just jumping on right now, uh, I encourage you to go back and listen and just to see what it sounds like and please leave comments and questions and all that kind of good stuff I'm, I'm generally pretty good about answering questions about what I might be doing um, let me know kind of what it sounded like on your end uh, was it good was it big was it clean was it in your face was it tight all those things that we as mix engineers are looking for um, so that's all I'm gonna do for today uh, thanks for jumping on and I will see you again soon. Oh, 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 I am going to be increasing traffic to my YouTube channel, um, which none of you have even ever heard of. But um, I'm going to shortly start increasing traffic to my YouTube channel and posting uh, um, more of these there. Uh, I'll still do lives here, but I will probably post the videos on my YouTube channel just to try and drive some traffic there. So uh, that's something that's coming up. Um, thank you for jumping on and taking a listen. Uh, again, give me your thoughts, give me your ideas, give me your feelings about it. Um, even if it's bad, you know, I don't care. It, it is what it is. I'm trying something new and um, we'll see. Thanks so much and I will see you again next time.